much all the major players in this. Uh, Marion Mortifon at the moment leading the results. But that can all change with one discard because... Uh, Blanca Alabao, with one discard, if she has a good one here, can pull right up the ranking. She's also got a one and a two. So she gets rid of an 18.5 if she gets a good result here. But Marion Mortifon looked good in the early proceedings. But here we go. So it's a good start, we're hoping. We've got Ocean Lescardieu up that top end, down this bottom end. We've got Oppendahl on the Severn. We've got uh, Sarah Keita on the Neil Pride. Should be in there somewhere. That's her. Looks like quite a small sail for Sarah Keita, but she's flying. So is Marion Mortifon in the front. Uh, we've got uh, Cousin Castell a little bit further back. It's all to play for now. Marion Mortifon is a woman on a mission right now. She's killing it in the foil. She's dominating on the fin as well. So it's Marion Mortifon goes round the first mark in first place. Sarah Keita off Ringer from Aruba in second. Then we've got oh, oh, and Sarah Keita's that. gone down. Cousin Castell has to avoid. She manages She's to do late, it. Though, yeah? And then it's close. Sarah Jackson's in there. And then we have the foil, the foil coming through. Passes. That's that's the usual <laughs> one. It's like the hare and the tortoise with the foil. Just goes round the outside side doesn't lose speed doesn't look that dynamic at that speed but it's making sense it's making sense but marion mortifon look at her go she's got a one a two and a three and at the moment she's staring another bullet in the face uh, cousin castell from france in second place then we've got oppendahl in third so keeping the dreams alive of a podium on the World Championships it's one event for the women so this is a set effectively a world championship so, winner takes all. Marion Mortifon looking very good here in Japan. Second place, Cousin Castell. Then we've got Oppendahl. Great jibe from her. We've also got uh, Lamatier on there as well in about fifth place. Sarah Keita trying to make her way back into the mix. Quan Ching from Hong Kong looking pretty high on that foil. <laughs> It looks sketchy on the foil, I've got to say, compared to the fin, but uh, they're making it count. Mary Mortifon, though, look at her go, looking so confident at the moment. Mary Mortifon, good jibe from her. Just needs to get out of that jibe nice and clean. Cousin Castell looks so oh. jibes into a hole and she falls straight off. So that opens the door. Lamatier is going to have a good run here, but Sarah Keita has already made her way right back into the mix. So this is definitely not all over for the Aruban. There's Oppendahl coming through as well. Wow, this is super close, actually. Not at the front. Mary Mortifon killing it. Off Ringer in second. Then we've got Najima from Japan. Oppendahl, Cousin Castell, Lescardieu, uh, Quan Ching in the mix. Oh, we lost Oppendahl, I think. No, no, no we lost uh, uh, Najima. So Najima goes down. Mortifon already round and clean. She's going to win this. Sarah Keita, great job from her. Lemetier from France. She's in, uh, I think, se second or third place overall. So keeping it consistent from the up-and-coming French rider. But there's only one person who's going to win this great race from Marion Mortifon. Led from start to finish. She punches the air. It's got to feel pretty good to win on the fin. It's been a long time since we've done some proper fin full power racing. Sarah Keita makes it all the way back to second place. Uh, Justine Lemetier in third place. And then fourth place, it looks like Oppendahl. So that's your top four. And we'll have to get the official results of the rest of the women. She looks a bit tired. What's more tiring, foil or fin? Well, I've not been on the fin for a long time. But what I heard, like this guy, the guys are saying, like one hit feels like 20 foil yeah. hits. <laughs> it's tiring. Especially in these conditions. I remember doing the deafy wind on the fin. And I honestly felt like I'd done but a year's worth of sailing. There now. It's very choppy. You can see it on the jibes. You know, these guys and girls are the best in the world. And when they're falling off on the jibe, yeah. you know, don't kid yourselves at home. Don't think, oh, yeah, they're not very good at jibing. It is so yeah, it's difficult. Very hard. So difficult. And it's got like a cross chop and there's almost a bit of swell. Like, I know that we're in a harbour type situation, but there is like this swell and chop at the same time. So that makes it even more tricky. So there we go. Marion Mortifon will be leading after four eliminations and a discard. Blanca Alabao will definitely pull up the rankings, but she's not going to take the lead. Uh, Oppendahl will be up there. Lamatier will be up there as well. Next up, we've got the runners-up final for the men. And we've got some big names in this. Yakino not making the final. Uh, Isaac not making the final. Mortifon not making the final. Did you see, actually, the... Uh, 
final with the boys with Tati and yeah, Bruno. Yeah, I, I was looking at it from the beach, yeah. It looked hectic. Did Tati make it? Yes. Yeah, Tati yeah. made it, yeah. That's flying on the slalom stuff. Look at that, the fin, uh, fin dream alive, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a great race from Mario Mortafon. She knows that's a big one. That is a big one. In a big fleet like that, one mistake can cost you a lot.